Hello, welcome to uh, the Mustard Talk. My name is Hamza Jeffrey. I'm the general manager for the Sharjah Waste Energy Project, a joint venture between Mustard and BIA. Uh, it's developing the first UAE waste energy project uh, in the Emirates of Sharjah. So a little bit background on the waste energy process. We basically uh, take solid waste uh, that is uh, not uh, able to be recycled and also waste from the, uh, from the city. We will be uh, processing these waste all the flue gas generated from the plant are environmentally treated in order to reduce the carbon footprint and to reduce the air emission in, uh, air emissions uh, from from uh, from the flue gas. So we are set to go alive next year. Uh, the facility will be capable to process around 300,000 ton, which is around 37 uh, ton an hour. Um, it's also uh, set to produce up to 30 megawatt of energy enough to power around 28,000 uh, homes. Um, and it will be, uh, all that power will be basically given to the uh, Sharjah uh, grid uh, in the Emirate. Uh, I'm happy to be joined by uh, North Wazir, a project engineer uh, from the technical project uh, department of our partner, uh, Bia. He's been working uh, in the project for a few years, and uh, I'm happy to get her to join and discuss the Sharjah Waste Energy Facility in greater depth. Thank you, uh, No, for joining. Thank you so much for having me, Hamza. And uh, as you mentioned earlier, yes, I have been working on waste energy projects for the past four years as a part of a bigger team in BIA. So I joined BIA after graduating from the University of Sharjah with a bachelor's degree in industrial engineering. And I think it's a great opportunity to be able to put my theoretical knowledge into actual practice and to be a part of a project that has such significant environment, environmental impact. Great. So, uh, Nof, uh, and I think, as I said before, this is the first of its kind in the, in the UAE. It's, uh, it's definitely uh, you know, it's an exciting project for both us, Mazdar and Bia, working in this, uh, uh, you know, pioneering projects. Uh, what do you think are the major benefits that the Charger Waste Energy Project brings to the Emirates and maybe to the UAE in a wider perspective? So waste, yes, waste is currently a global problem that uh, as we are experiencing population growth, urbanization and accelerated economic growth, which can lead to higher waste generation rates. And here in the UAE itself, residents produce 1.2 kg to 1.3 kg of waste daily. Now, uh, the UAE Vision 2021 has targeted a goal of achieving 75% solid waste diverted from away from landfills. And waste to energy technology will definitely help achieve this target. Another important point is that irresponsibly managed or overfilled landfills can result in the release of greenhouse gases such as methane and carbon dioxide. So um, uh, this project aims to divert more than 300,000 metric tons of non-recyclable municipal solid waste away from landfills every year, uh, generating up to 30 megawatts of electricity to power 28,000 houses. And um, it will also displace almost 450,000 cubic meters of carbon dioxide emissions per year which is equivalent to removing 100,000 cars from the road. And overall, waste energy is a solution that offers two key benefits. The first one being that it deals with the issue of increasing waste volumes without turning to landfills, as well as it supporting the UAE's target of diversifying clean energy sources. Now, Sharjah has already achieved a rate of 76% diver waste diversion rate away from landfills, and is aiming to be the first city in the Middle East to achieve zero waste landfill with the launch of the UAE's first waste energy. Yeah, it's 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 definitely uh, the benefits is quite clear uh, uh, from 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 this project. Would you think that you know uh, the use of this technology would be extended to other parts of the region? Would we see more projects in the UAE? Uh, what do you think are the challenges the, for for such technology? Yes. So the irresponsible disposal of waste, whether in unregulated dumps or through open incineration, has devastating environmental repercussions. 
Meanwhile, the dependence on landfills is also unsustainable in the longer term. Now, as countries in the region start to look at applying circular economy concepts and holistic waste management, waste energy offers an ideal solution. Also, the value of waste energy extends beyond energy and waste sectors. It has potential to spur economic diversification, growth, and job creation. This, basically, the success of Charger Waste Energy Facility can be easily replicated across the UAE and even in the GCC region. Emirates Waste to Energy Company is paving the way for waste to energy technologies in the region, and we believe that the potential is immense as a holistic waste management. Uh, that, that's that's definitely uh, you know the case you know and I would like to add a few of uh, the challenges we also faced uh, if I may uh, know is that you know we also seen there is a certain extent of lack of awareness of about about the technology itself about the benefit of waste energy as you said before you know it's uh, how it's contributing to the holistic uh, and also to the concept of a circular economy because as you know all the waste is generated by the city can be reused again to generate sustainable power that uh, can be sold back to the consumers uh, and, and, uh, and and this is uh, actually this challenge itself you know have, have made finding your partners um, to work together on a, on, a, on, a, on a waste energy project is quite uh, a challenge as well uh, and, and I would like to say that you know being Mustar from uh, as a leading uh, renewable energy developer and also be as a holistic uh, uh, waste management company this partnership have proven to 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 be quite ideal in such a challenge, and, and we actually have uh, worked together and materialized by having the first uh, Sharjah waste energy uh, project in the Emirates of Sharjah. So, and I think one of the other challenges I would like to say as well, you know, we bringing the local partners as well, especially in the financing uh, sector, to understand about the waste energy uh, project, to understand the process, and understand the commercial setup such a, a new technology have also proven uh, be to be uh, one of the major challenges we face and that actually we've been recognized uh, globally and uh, also uh, regionally on our efforts in, to bring on all these uh, local partners uh, and we have received a few awards uh, for, for for the financial uh, uh, you know and this project and as you can see here also the the challenge as well is that uh, this technology brought in into the UAE, there is certain different, uh, you know, setting uh, challenges for the weather and for the different uh, warm uh, warm temperatures for uh, for the UAE. And we try to resolve these problems, in particularly for Sharjah, uh, you know, uh, as we as we go proceed and construct this plan. And also the, uh, the, the, the challenge as well we can see here is that, you know, the, the, it's the environmental standards uh, as well, we are uh, building this plan to the top uh, environmental standards around the world, uh, and this is something that uh, Mazda Rabia are quite proud of. And to me, with all these challenges and what you have iterated before, it gives Emirates uh, Waste Energy a great advantage in developing more, more and further projects in the region, especially in the GCC part of the Middle East. Um, and I think uh, this is definitely a testament to our success. Now, maybe I would like to switch gear a bit, uh, if, if, if I may. You know, being a UAE Emirati woman, and as we celebrate uh, the, the, the UAE Women Day and the achievement that we had, uh, the UAE have achieved so far, maybe can you tell, tell me more, what are the challenges you have seen, uh, especially being a woman, a woman engineer, and a local woman actively working in this key sector? Yes, so the energy sector has traditionally been male-dominated, including the renewable sector. According to 2000, uh, 2019 reports by Irina, women represent only 32% of uh, renewables industry. So it is interesting to note out that the BA Energy team comprises of mostly Emirati women, of a fact which is a fact that I am very proud of. And uh, here in the UAE, there is a strong emphasis for women to be involved across industries, bring fresh talent, diversity, expertise, new perspectives, and to ensure that together we can shape uh, a shared future that is full of promise. 
Indeed, indeed. Uh, and uh, thank you, Nawaf, and uh, definitely uh, uh, we appreciate all the efforts uh, you put in into this. Um, that's particularly, that's pretty much it, uh, it for, uh, for, uh, for me and uh, for us uh, in this Master, first Master Talk series. Uh, thank you for listening. And thank you, Nawaf, for, uh, for your support. Thank you, Hans.